Welcome to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm Lee Newton. It's Monday. Hello, Monday. A team of researchers from the University of Alaska at Fairbanks have released the results of a recent study, and they have found that due to the warming and subsequent melting of permafrost in the Arctic, ancient and not so ancient deposits of methane gas are escaping from their icy prisons and fleeing straight up into our atmosphere. Recent surveys have revealed that there are immense quantities of methane gas all over the Arctic, in and under the permafrost, and on and under the seabed. This is bad news for a planet that's getting a little hot and bothered because methane gas is a greenhouse gas. It'll be like sitting in a steam room and dumping an unwanted bucket of water on hot rocks. It'll be really hot and really sweaty. Professor Ewan Nisbet from the University of London states, Arctic is the fastest warming region on the planet and has many methane sources that will increase as the temperature rises. So there's been a significant jump in the amount of carbon dioxide and methane in the last hundred years or so resulting in higher temperatures and now the Arctic is warming and we're like holy crap we gotta cool this place down because the Arctic is melting and because the Arctic is melting a bunch of methane pockets are opening up and throwing more methane into the atmosphere resulting in higher temperatures and more melting. This is no Bueno, because methane is the second most important greenhouse gas behind carbon dioxide. Researchers poked around in lakes along margins of ice cover and discovered somewhere around 150,000 methane seeps bubbling up the stinky warming gases in Alaska and Greenland. There are ancient old school pockets of gas that are possibly the result of natural gas and coal deposits under the Arctic lakes. And there are younger gases emitted from the lakes that are more than likely created from the decay of plant material. That's two kinds of gases. That's two kinds of gases. That's a lot of gas, and combine that with a bunch of man-made gases from sources such as land fills and cow orgies, mm. and you've got all kinds of methane farting up in the sky. Cow orgies. Yeah, cow orgies. Huh. Really? Yeah. I guess that's just my term for a bunch of cows <clears throat> farting around and waiting for the slaughter. You're a real poet, Joe. Real poet, buddy. Anyways, whether or not you believe in climate change, guess what? The climate is changing and the Arctic is melting. And now it seems that we've come to a point where the planet is like, F this, if I'm going down, I'm going down on my own terms. In their paper, the researchers write, if this relationship holds true for other regions where sedimentary basins are at present capped by permafrost, glaciers and ice sheets, such as northern West Siberia, rich in natural gas and partially underlain by the thin permafrost, predicted to degrade substantially by 2100, a very strong increase in methane carbon cycling will result, with potential implications for climate warming feedbacks. AKA by land in the Yukon territory because the warm is feeding the warm and it's gonna be the only tolerable region on the planet. Sure it'll be a little methane but at least it won't be balls hot. Balls hot. Yeah, balls hot. Balls hot and cow orgies. You sir are a real Robert Frost. You are too kind. So where do you guys stand on this issue? Do you think global warming is a fabrication or do you think it's super real? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button, click the annotation down below, or you know, go to sourcefed.com for five daily stories and every other story we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. And I'm Robert Frost. No, you're not.